Hi there, this is Mar Haddad. In the last uh, few weeks, I have received a lot of uh, emails from uh, many uh, of my students asking me how can we block Netflix. So they have problems that uh, Netflix is being used widely in their network and they don't know how to block it. And they are also using MicroTech routers. So they want to know how to block Netflix. There is a lot of uh, ways to block Netflix on the uh, MicroTech routers. Of course, you can use the layer 7, uh, regular expression, but I highly advise to not use that because the uh, regular expression on layer 7 will take a lot of resources on your router, especially when you have a lot of traffic in your network. So for this reason, I have decided to make this video to show you what is the best way to block Netflix on your network using MicroTech Router. So let me show you what is the scenario that we have now. At this moment, my lab is as following. I have one MicroTech router connected to the internet. I already have enabled the internet on this MicroTech router and it is giving internet to my computer. So what I want to do is to go to my computer and open Netflix and we will see that it's gonna work without any problem. Now, the idea is that I want to block the usage of Netflix. So what I can do on this router, I can make a mango rule and this mango rule, I will use the content. So I will use the content for Netflix. Then what's gonna happen that anytime anyone is trying to go to Netflix, which is here somewhere on the internet. So it passed from the router to go to the uh, internet, uh, to the server of Netflix. Then in this case, the destination address will be added inside an address list. An address list is nothing more like a uh, place where you can classify uh, things, so like IP addresses, and then you can do some action on that. So anytime anyone in the network trying to go to Netflix, the destination address, which is the Netflix server, will be added inside an address list inside our MicroTech router. So you will see if you can open it, like if anyone is, you know that they are using Netflix, just make this, that rule and capture all those destination address because Netflix, they have a lot of servers. So capture all those IP addresses of the Netflix servers and you put them inside an address list. Then what you only need to do is just to create a filter rule and you say, okay, for any traffic which is going via the router, so on the chain forward, and the, there is a destination address, so that means that it's going to any of those addresses which are inside my address list, then I drop it. And by doing that, you will see directly Netflix will stop working. So let me show you how we can do that. So we are here on the Winbox, and let me just put the picture so you can follow what I'm doing. And uh, before we do that, let me just show you that at this moment, this is the IP I have from my router, 172.20.20.254. So if you, I ping to google.com from my computer, I do have internet and this internet is coming from that router. And what I have done on the router is just, I have enabled the DHCP client on internet one to be connected to the internet. And I have created a DHCP server on internet two, which is the interface connected to my computer. And of course, I have made the NAT. So that's all what I have done. Now, we need to capture the IPs that are going to Netflix. How we can do that? We have to go to IP, we have to go to firewall and then to mangle. And I will create a chain which is pre-routing. Pre-routing means before it enters inside the routing process. So pre-routing. And over here, I will have to say on advance, I will not use any layer seven protocol. I'm going to use this one, the content, which is much better for the processing on your router. And I'm going to use this one. Let me show it to you. This is what you need to write. NFLX means NetflixVideo.net. So that means it will capture all traffic that are going to be for video. It doesn't mean that if you open Netflix, it doesn't open. The website will open, but the videos will not be loaded. So that's it. So now again, anything which is uh, on the chain pre-routing before it enters to the routing, if it has the content of the Netflix video, then the action is to add the destination address because we said that is the uh, Netflix server. So that's the destination and add it inside an address list, we call it, for example, Netflix. And we can keep it, I highly advise that you make it very long, so to not do the work many times. So something like 720 
um, uh, hours. So that means like 30 days. And then I will say here, apply. So we have this already there. Now in a moment, when we go to Netflix, we will see that the server will be starting showing up here inside the address list. All right, so if you want, let me just show you that. I will open my Netflix over here and let's play a video. So this is a video play now on Netflix. And it, you see it is working without an issue. So I stop it and we go over here on the address list. Here we go. He has started capturing some IPs of the server. So what I highly advise you to do once you create this mango rule, let all everyone open Netflix. Just tell them, go watch Netflix. <laughs> they think that they are doing something nice that, uh, yeah, at work, it's Netflix is uh, available, but you are doing that just to capture all those IPs of the Netflix server. Now, what you need to do after doing that is to block it. How to block it? Very easy. You go to the filter rules. You create a filter rule and you have to say forward anything which is passing through the router so that's what this forward is and it is inside the destination address list which is netflix so all the ips which are inside this netflix then the action is to drop and that's it now let's go to netflix again and let's load and see if it's gonna work so this is the video so you see it's trying and trying and trying and trying and Netflix video is not working. Now, in case it may work because possibly you didn't capture all the servers, but let's see if here we go. It has started capturing more servers for Netflix. And every time it captured the server, it blocked it. And you see in the filter rule here, look, it has increased the blocking. You see that? And look to the CPU, it's not too much. And here we go. So it is not working. So you can see this is how you can block the Netflix using Mikrotik. And this is really a very nice experiment to show you. Like that is the few steps that you need to do. And with those steps, you see that it's not going to work. Maybe we can try to open another video. So you see that Netflix website is working. But if we try to open another video, like, I don't know, that one. So it's trying to open it, but it's not opening. And look here on the address list. We see that it's capturing more and more servers now. And those servers are staying for 30 days. Excellent. So you see here 29 days. So what you can also do maybe is to make those as uh, you just uh, don't make them uh, uh, dynamic, just make them static. So because those servers of Netflix, they stay there. So instead of having every 30 days that this will go away and come again, and then you can just make them static for one time. All right, now this is not opening. What if I stop the filter rule? Let's try and let's check. Here we go, it should work now. You see, it's working. It is working. So yeah, you see how uh, it makes uh, the effect. So you can see now it is really working the Netflix without any issue. So this is all what I wanted to show you about uh, how to block Netflix on your network. Again, try to capture as much as you can the address list uh, or the IP of the service of Netflix inside this address list. Keep it for one, two days open for everyone to watch Netflix. Capture all those servers and then, then just by one filter rule, block it and this would work without any issue. So that is all what I wanted to show you in this video. I'm going also to do another video to show you in case you don't want to block Netflix, but you want to give it a bandwidth that is limited. That means that in case someone is watching Netflix on your network, he does not make your network uh, full. Uh, so he does not use the full bandwidth on the internet. So you just say, okay, Netflix is allowed, but I'm going to give a limited bandwidth that they cannot bypass it. So that's something I'm going to show it to you in another video. I hope that this lecture was informative for you and I'll see you in some other videos.